Greetings, Wambui made it. Wambui here. If you've seen any of my other videos where I was card making or stamping, you know that I struggled with uh, stamping. I was, I'm a messy stamper. And I kept hearing about um, a tool that could help me to remedy my messiness with the stamping and to get my stamping more perfect on the first try. And that tool, they said, was the, there's a tool out there called the most incredible stamping tool invented. Ta-da! I have the most incredible stamping tool invented. And so I'm going to do just a very brief demonstration of this today. There are a lot of crafters who have demonstrated this. So I'm just going to do a very brief one. Don't think, it. mine may be a little... Um, little messy even my even my most incredible stamping tool may be messy but uh, that's not from the manufacturer that's me who if you see any spark any you know they when i got it it was pristine and i can clean it up i just haven't right now at this moment uh because i've been really using it a lot and so i'll show you this and i'm going to show you using these stamps that i got off amazon now you know the trouble with amazon is that when you order something from Amazon and somebody says, where'd you get that? You say, I got this from Amazon. You hardly ever remember the store or the person that you bought it from on Amazon. You just say Amazon. So I'm going to tell you. I got this, uh, these stamps uh, from Flons, F-L-O-N-Z, Craft. So FlonsCraft.com. Um, this is where I got these stamps from Fawns. And yeah, they came, no, I didn't use them that much. They came orangey color like this. This is the orangey color of the stamp. And you actually, I had to cut them out myself. They came in a big sheet and then I cut them out. And one of the complaints that I, used, I read about in the reviews of this was there was some, um, you know, they're supposed to be, that they had an odor. I didn't, I didn't notice an odor and there was a note, I guess people had told Flans that before, and he's telling you that is um, orange polymer provides better quality and durability than standard clear, and better visible on acrylic block. And he's also goes on to say in there somewhere that the if you do smell an odor, it is it is not toxic. So, uh, but the reason I got these stamps were because that was because they reminded me they brought back so many memories. Because look at that, my these are 1950 vintage um, stamps, and well, I mean they're stamps of the 1950s, and they brought back so many memories. For instance, this car right here, I don't know exactly what kind of car or what year in the 50s this car is from, but it definitely looks just like a car my father had a 1950. I think it was a 1957. Chevrolet and the dresses that the women have on I just I I swear these are dresses just like my mother my aunt and my grandmother had and I know that I had one or two of these dresses myself when I was in in high school and then this car down here reminds me of a DeSoto car that we had when I was young and then this car right here um, reminds me of a Buick that my grandfather had and then I love the men in the suits and they remind me of my father when he would get dressed up dressed up and also just how all the men used to look when we would go to church when I was young so I really love the stamp set so I'm going to use this and my uh, most incredible stamping to ever just to demonstrate brief briefly um, the beginnings of a card okay Okay, here I am with my most incredible stamping tool invented. And I have a piece of cardstock that is four by six. This is going to be the, the front of a five by seven card. So I'm making a Father's Day card for my brother. And I think he might get a kick out of seeing some of these images from back in the day, or at least it'll trigger some memories for him. So I put the card here. The tool comes with magnets to hold the card in place. Um, I'm going to take 
this long car here that reminds me of the DeSoto, which was our first car that my grandfather gave us. That is Soto. I'm going to line it up there. What this tool allows you to do is to line up everything and see how it's going to look before you ever stamp anything. And you can move things around before you um, stamp and get an idea uh, by placing them. And not only can you line things up, but you'll see that it's going to, they stay. What is going on here? Something's on my stamp. But they stay in the, you can keep them, um, and I'll probably stamp a sentiment right there about Father's Day. So, but right now, I'm going to go like this. And so what this does is this picks the stamps up so that when you ink them up, they're going to go back into that same exact place. Now, because I'm going to be using different colors, I'm going to put them aside. I'm going to use a ruby for the car. Actually, I'm going to use the pomegranate for the car because our car was, the, the soda we had was a kind of a bright reddish color. And so, and so what I would do, what I'm doing now is, if you can see, is I'm going to ink up the car while it's on here. And so what this will do is it will, it doesn't leave the, I know the place where it's going to go. It's going to go right back into the exact, the exact same place where I had lined it up before. So I'm going to ink it up as good as I can. And also the thing with this um, most incredible stamping tool is, let's see if this comes out dark and beautiful. Because what happens is that if it doesn't, it is no problem to re-ink exactly in the same place because, oh, look at how beautiful. Are you able to see how beautiful the car came out? And now I'm going to remove the car and I'm going to put that man that I had. Oh, I lost my man. Oh, here's my man. I'm going to put the man down in this corner right here. And that's where I want him to be. So the good news is now I can just take my most incredible stamping tool, go like that, and it's going to pick up the man. And what it allows me to do is um, I don't have to um, worry about getting it in the same position once he's in. But see, I'm still... Do you see that? I am still just, I still get ink on my most incredible inking tool. But I used to do that on my other stamps. I don't know if you can see, I, I got ink on the tool. But I used to get do that and I'm going to show you how good this tool is. I should wipe that. I'm going to, but this is for demonstration purposes only. Ordinarily I would. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp and I'm going to show you that even though I got ink on that stamp, can you see, um, even though I got ink everywhere, when I open it up, look, it's just, um, it's on the man, and there's ink over here on the, ordinarily, when I was trying to stamp by hand without my tool, that ink would have ruined, if I had wiped it and missed it, that ink would have ruined my stamping. But as you can see, that's why I guess it's called the most incredible stamping tool ever for people like me who gets ink everywhere. And we just want to do those, I just want to do those ladies now. Where are those ladies? Right? Let's see the ladies. Okay. I suppose that's how the dresses were. I think that looks good, actually. All right, so this is the ladies and the car, and I'll probably stamp a sentiment right there that says something about Father's Day, and and then put it on a card. Okay, well, thank you for being with me today, and until next time, 